Joining me now is a gentleman who is also organizing and uh, getting folks down there, Gregory Floyd. He's the president of the international president of Teamsters Local 237 here in Manhattan. Gregory, nice to meet you. Nice to be here with you, Ed. Good to, ha good to have you on the program. And thank you for uh, doing this for, on behalf of working uh, people. There should be more people out there fighting for working people because most of us are working people. And we want to just commend you for getting this fight going and keeping it alive. Well, the wage earners of America have been beat on pretty hard the last 10 years. They have. Uh, the wage earners have lost at least 10 percent, while 1 percent of our population has earned, or not earned, but has 25 percent of the income. And that's what this fight is over, 25 percent of income belongs to 1% of the population. And people need to wake up and, and figure which side of this battle on is the have and have nots. And there are more have nots than there are haves. What uh, what kind of uh, support do you think is coming from around the country? You think people are on this, on this One Nation march? I think people are enthused about uh, just doing something uh, for Democrats and for working people. I think we're gonna have a tremendous turnout. I don't wanna give a number and then come under that number but I, I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised at the enthusiasm and the people participating. Because here in New York, it was really tough to secure buses. So if you don't have a bus going down to uh, Washington by this time, you better find somebody who has empty seats because you're not going to be able to rent a bus in New York City. Are, are, are your members doing this because they have to or they want to? My members are doing this for both reasons. They have to and they want to. They're ready for a fight. Visit Pushback now for news that affects America.